A lot of women call our office describing the symptoms that we've previously discussed, such as bleeding or pelvic pain. And they ask, how do I know if I have fibroids? It's a great question. And usually, x-ray studies are required to diagnose fibroids. The most common test is an ultrasound. A lot of gynecologists will have already ordered an ultrasound for you by the time you've called our center. That's perfect. That allows us to evaluate your ultrasound. Depending on a particular woman's ultrasounds and her symptoms, we may have to order an MRI to evaluate the fibroids more closely. MRIs can be important because they're more accurate and it gives us more information about the size of the fibroids as well as the location and the type of the fibroid. When contacting either the Fibroid Treatment Center or your gynecologist, it's not necessary to already have all of your imaging studies completed. You don't have to have an ultrasound or an MRI yet. We can decide at that time, either with our office or with your gynecologist, whether we should order an ultrasound or an MRI after your consultation. I went to a gynecologist and she ordered some ultrasounds and they were monitoring them for about two years. Um, from about in a period of less than a year, they doubled in size. And so she, uh, after she saw the results of the, the latest ultrasound, she recommended that I have a hysterectomy. I first realized I had a fibroid because I had an MRI. I'm a runner and I went to an orthopedic surgeon and he said, oh, by the way, you have a fibroid, it's small, don't worry about it, so I didn't. And then I realized, well, gosh, maybe that had something to do with my, the bleeding getting heavier and heavier, so. I went to my gynecologist and she said, sure enough, it's in your lining of, of my uterine, so that's why the bleeding was so heavy. But I waited a good year 